I was placed in foster care in May. I was living with my sister, she was our foster parent. But even so, like I wasn't communicating enough with my sister and all the things that I was doing outside of the house. In the Twin Cities, we have a high achievement gap. We're really looking to meet the needs of young people in innovative ways. Hey, how's it going? Come on in. The YES program stands for the Youth Education Success Program, a collaboration between the YMCA and Hennepin County. We were created to address the educational needs of children who are placed in foster care. For a lot of these young people, they're jumping from house to house, changing schools. So we really want to keep education the consistent thing in their life. Last time I saw you, you had an essay due that evening. Did you get it done? Yeah, I got How it How did done. that go? We really try to connect them one-on-one -on -one with a caring adult who is able to focus specifically on their needs academically. My junior year, I felt like I wasn't going to finish. I felt pressured and I, I just like wanted to get out of there as soon as possible. On Monday, I'm going to do the tutoring. Mm -hmm. On Thursday, I have biology. Things. Then Shayna would come to my school and we talk about like, you know, some goals that I have to make for myself and then she kind of makes like a plan for me. We set goals and when I need to get done, which is what I needed as a senior. That's nice, it's good that you have a plan. She had a little bit of a rough start to senior year. I was happy I was able to come in and meet with her and talk through all the different classes she's taking, talk with her about the places where she's struggling, the places where she's doing well. So you're gonna try and use the planner now? Yeah. Okay, do you wanna, you know, you could look into doing like a planner app on your phone if you feel like that. Every kid is unique, but what's really nice is our program is able to address those unique needs in individualized ways. What's the next step for college applications? Knowing that someone is rooting for them and someone wants to help them out and someone is here to make sure that they can succeed. She was kind of like the person that would talk for me and I really needed that since I couldn't find a way to do it for myself. We have her on the right track. She's applying for colleges. I wrote her a scholarship recommendation. Um, I think she's going to be in a really good place. You're planning on visiting the colleges mm -hmm. that you're applying to? And then, yep. A lot of our young people, they're facing some pretty extreme barriers. And so, you know, one of our top priorities is just to instill hope and also to get them to dream big. You can graduate high school, you can go on to college, you can have that career that you've always dreamed of but didn't know how to navigate to get to. So it helped me finish what I felt like I couldn't finish. I want to help people feel better and get where they want to be, just like somebody helped me.